For the worked problem this week, I'm going to do divisibility tests for a large number. In this case, um, let's see, the number is uh, 681,132,582. So let's work through each of these tests. For the test for two, we only have to look at the last digit. Um, as we can see here, the last digit is a two. So the number's even, it's divisible by two. So it's even because the last digit is even. I might do the other test that used the last digit while we're here. Um, it's clear that this number is not going to be divisible by 5 because it doesn't end in 5 or 0. So, <clears throat> And also um, it's not going to be divisible by 10 because it doesn't end in 0. In order to work through the test for um, 3, I need to first find the digital sum. So I find this by adding all of the numbers together. In this case, I get 6 plus 8 is 14, 15, 16, 19, 21, 26, and then 34, 36. So 36 is the digital sum. 36 is divisible by 3 because 3 times 12 is divisible by 3. So in this case, um, this number is divisible by 3 because the digital sum is divisible by 3. <clears throat> um, next we move on to the test for 4. So, you know, with 2, 5 and 10, all of those numbers go evenly into 10, which is why we only need to look at the last digit. With the 4, we need to look at the last two digits because 4 goes evenly into 100, but it doesn't go evenly into 10. So if I look at the last two digits, um, it's 82, and that's not divisible by 4, because um, I can see that um, 4 would go evenly into 80, because 20 times 4 is 80, and so um, the multiples of 4 that are around this would be um, 84. So it's not divisible by 4, because 82 is not divisible by 4. <clears throat> I can then look at the number 6, and remember the number 6, all of the multiples of 6 are divisible by both 2 and 3, because the multiples of 6 are precisely the even multiples of 3. So in this case, I just need to look at what I've done for 2 and 3. I see that this number passed the test for 2 and 3, so therefore it's going to be divisible by 6 because it passes the tests for 2 and 3. <clears throat> and then come to my 8. Now, I already know that it's not going to be divisible by 8 because it wasn't divisible by 4. And everything that's divisible by 8 is also going to be divisible by 4. So I can say straight away that it's not divisible by 8, but usually I'd be looking at the digit made by the last, um, the last 3 digits, so in this case, I'd have to say that 42 is not divisible by 8, and that's why. And then for the last test, um, I'm looking at whether or not this is a multiple of 9, and I know that for multiples of 9, the digital sum is, again, divisible by 9. So it's similar to the test for 3, and we can reuse the digital sum that we've already worked out. And in this case, 36 is also divisible by 9, so, I can say that it's divisible one by 9 as well. <clears throat> and let's work through all of the divisibility tests up to 10. Uh, we haven't included 7 because the test for 7 um, takes as long as long division, but you might want to look that up. Anyway, okay.